Following the disastrous opening of Paramount's Gemini Man in October, the studio got its second major fall release box office bomb this weekend with a dismal opening of Terminator. Dark Fate the new Paramount release had been projected to open in the $40 million ballpark but only grossed $29 million in the US and $102 million overseas, a sum the film's international box office won't be enough to save it. Despite solid reviews and the highly touted returns of James Cameron and Linda Hamilton to the franchise, Dark Fate barely opened higher than 2015's despite Terminator Genesis a $27 million start in the US. Dark Fate cost $185 million to produce. Variety reports the movie's marketing and distribution budget was in the $80 million and $100 million range, which means the movie would have to gross in the $450 million range in order to turn a profit. For comparison, Guinness is tapped out at $440 million worldwide in 2015 after opening in the same margin. Box office analysts tell Variety Dark Fate is heading to a final worldwide gross between $180 million and $200 million, which would result in a loss of $100 million or more. The one saving grace behind Terminator, Dark Fate bombing at the box office is that it was financed by Paramount, Skydance, and Disney, via 20th Century Fox, so the film's losses will be split among the studios and not piled solely onto Paramount. Should Dark Fate drop quickly at the box office, it could even approach losses at are about $120 million. Box office analysts tell Variety the film might not even make it past $70 million at the U.S. box office. Between Gemini Man and Dark Fate, Paramount is having a rough time at the fall box office. Gemini Man is expected to lose Paramount at least $60 million. The two films join Warner Bros. The Goldfinch as the major box office bombs of the fall season. Dark Fate was supposed to be the studio's major fall temple and was heralded by critics as being the best Terminator release since Cameron's first sequel T2. Judgment Day based on these opening weekend numbers, it appears overall interest in the Terminator franchise has waned.